good evening once again and welcome to Nightline. I am Mary Sloan along with my daughter, Tony Suchka. And as we always say, we're so excited about our program tonight. Guess what tonight is? It's, it's ladies, ladies night. night. Ooh, and look at all our beautiful ladies. Come on, y'all. You just... <laughs> It's our Christmas ladies Christmas. night. Christmas, yeah. We're going to be enjoying like a lot of recipes tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun night that we have together. And as you got a quick uh, glimpse of our guest, we have all family with us tonight. Yes. We have my Aunt Narvis Hart, who is mom's sister, her other sister, Edith Tripp, and then my Aunt Sheila Sloan. We had to pull in some Sloan to even that mess out. <laughs> So <laughs> we're excited to have them with us tonight. We're going to be laughing and sharing uh, mm -hmm. fun recipes. I'm sure you saw all the, the nice uh, dessert food and fun right. food, sweet and savory that we have around the um, right. table tonight. We're going to be sharing about our cruise we took, and we're going to be just sharing some things about Christmas, so you don't want to turn that dial and call somebody right, right now and tell them we're on. And if you're watching on Facebook, please share the show tonight so others can yes. be blessed. I wanted to share our scripture tonight. It comes from John 1, 14, and it says, So the Word became human and made His home <clears throat> among us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness. And we have seen His glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. And I love the way that translation read there. He's full of unfailing love and yes, faithfulness. Amen. So um, this, what this season, you know, we recognize this all year long, but in particularly in the month of Christmas, we want to just really focus on Amen. what this season is about. So we invite you to join us for our Christmas Ladies Night. Like I said, we'll laugh. There may be some tears shed. That's Who knows? Right. We never know when women are sitting around the table what can happen. <laughs> so, Mom, you are going to start us off with a Christmas medley. Yeah, a little uh, upbeat Christmas upbeat medley. fun song. Yes, so fun song. I'm going to just let you take it away. Thank you. So Thank enjoy. you. <laughs> A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight Walking in a winter wonderland Gone away is the bluebird Here to stay is the new bird He sings the love song as we go along Walking in a winter wonderland In the meadow we can build a snowman And pretend that he is Parson Brown He'll say, are you married? We'll say, no, man. But you can do the job when you're in town. Later on, we'll conspire as we dream by the fire to face and afraid the plans that we made walking in a winter wonderland. In the meadow, we can build a snowman and pretend that he's a circus clown. He'll say, are you married? He'll say, no, man. But you can do the job when you're in town. When it snows, ain't it thrilling? When your nose gets a chillin'. We're frolicking, play the Eskimo way, walking in a winter wonderland. We're frolicking, play the Eskimo way, walking in a winter wonderland. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, and the fire is so delightful. And if you know a place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh, it doesn't show signs of stopping, so I brought a little corn for popping. And the lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I hate going out in the cold. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. The fire is slowly dying, and my dear, we're still goodbye. As long as you love me 
May your, all your days be merry and bright, and may you have a white Christmas. Like right here tonight, we do here in the studio. If you saw behind my mom while she was singing, we've got a beautiful Christmas set here, and we're just excited to have our Christmas yes. ladies' night tonight. So, Mom, thanks I for bet. singing that wonderful medley of songs. <laughs> we're going to have um, my Aunt Edith share in song. Mom's going to sing again later. I know we always get requests for... You know, more, let's have Mary sing more. And <laughs> Sheila, my Aunt Sheila, is going <laughs> to sing some beautiful songs as well. I wanted to quickly share that on this Saturday, December 7th, there is a prayer vigil here between 1030 and 1230. Be praying for the nation and your friends and family. So if you'd like to... Um, Join them for that. You can do that here at WGGS TV yes. 16. So, well, welcome to the table, <laughs> ladies. Welcome to the table. We're Thank excited you. to have all of you Thank here. You. I was just like, you know, we've got a whole table of family here. Yes. Let's introduce them one more time. All so right. Know. So I'll start with Darby. you go ahead, Mom. This is my younger sister. My <laughs> younger, yes. 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 <laughs> and over here is my. Older oh. sister. <laughs> you don't say that real loud. <laughs> Edith Trill. But there's about two years between all of us, so yes. hey. And then, Glad to be and with then, you. And uh, then your sister in love. In my love, aunt. yes. I didn't um, call y'all in love. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila Sloan. Mm -hmm. so thank y'all for taking the time to yes. be with us. She's our sister, too. That's right. Yes. We claim her. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I guess you're looking at all this wonderful food that we have here, and I asked these ladies to bring something that they maybe have during the Christmas holiday that they would like to share, something old, something new that they've made. Um, so it all looks really <laughs> yummy. Some of it's sweet, some of it's mm -hmm. savory. savory. So Sheila, you've got to tell me, we've got, as you guys can um, <laughs> zoom into some of this, this looks good and a little not right. <laughs> not, not Christian is what I would normally say. Tell You're right. You got here. <laughs> They're called magic cookie bars and it's a layer bar with um, mm -hmm. graham cracker and butter crust and chocolate oh, chips, coconut, white around. chocolate mm -hmm. chips, 
and drizzled over the top is sweetened condensed milk. Oh. Uh, and oh. it's cooked at 350 mm. for about 25 minutes or until it starts browning. Um, and it is sinful. Oh, it really that? is. I'll take one. <laughs> and it's it's only about 275 a square calories, oh. a square. So. Goodness. This, this is, is one good. of my favorites. Me too. So, so what is the crust on this again? It's graham cracker. Um, okay. crumbs and then uh, well you could do pretzels. Press, yeah. No, oh. it's graham cracker crumbs and mm. then butter melted. And, and you just press it down. Condensed oh sweetened condensed milk. <laughs> oh, I mean. Yes. <laughs> I pour sweetened condensed milk in my coffee. Of sometimes. course you do. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell anybody yeah. that. <laughs> and she, yes, your creamer, right? <laughs> I, I use well it that sometimes. looks super yummy. And I, oh. what I'll mm. do for those of you who would like to Maybe as we go along through some of these Christmas treats that we've had in our family, mm, um, I'll yeah, post these yeah. recipes yeah. on our Facebook page so that you guys can share them with your family if you'd like. So you guys will have to send me this. Now, there's some mm. Christmas trees here. So tell yes. me about these. Narvis, you made these. Very easy. <laughs> you, just, you just go out and buy your mold ah! that has the trees. Put, you put like a, like, like an ice thing or something? No, you buy the uh, chocolate in whatever color you want, and then you just uh, melt it down uh, over a boiling water double pot, and then you pour it into the mold, put it in the freezer for a little bit, and you got you some Christmas trees. Well, shoot. Mm -hmm. The white chocolate, it tastes like white chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's that wonderful. Is so cute, so easy, easy, easy. Y'all grab easy. you a piece of chocolate you there. just need yeah. some lights on so your it, Christmas tree. So it tastes like, <laughs> obviously, white chocolate, right? It's Thank just you. like a green coloring. Yeah. Yes, that. yes. Just nice. Like that, well, that's cute. That's I just know. cute to have yeah. it's really yeah. cute. sitting around. It. It um, is. Now, that wasn't hard to make, huh? No, it takes <laughs> minutes. <laughs> that's kind of nice to have a quick recipe, especially yeah. if you're going to have a holiday party or you got family coming over and mm -hmm. you want something quick and easy that's right. cute and different. Yeah. So very, very cute. All right, so mom, tell us about, now I grew up on this. <laughs> now you, I didn't, I, that's not bad. We have, we have that at all family Yes, meals, even Brad we? is like, is your mom making that pistachio? Oh. But she has so. a secret ingredient in I this. I sure <laughs> do, and, and if I, if they say, if you, well, I'm not going to tell you, huh? I'm not supposed to tell the secret ingredient. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, we, we're going to have the, uh, the recipes up so y'all can write it down, but I'm sure a whole lot of people out there already have this. This recipe but it's just pistachio and milk and um, and let let your pistachio gel and then put your, some cool whip in it and then put some um, uh, cherries well marshmallows marshmallow small marshmallows mm -hmm. and then add you your put can milk of in it? Well, yes. Oh. <laughs> you put, you, are, are you calling? Not me. No. I'm not calling my hand. <laughs> I never put milk. That's why I wondered. You didn't put milk yeah. in your gel to gel it? No. Uh, well, that's what, the, that's what the package says to put oh, milk. Oh, I've done giving okay. up the, the package. <laughs> the secret package. Anyway, she never then, told you your secret, did Then you <laughs> drain the pineapple, uh, drain mm. the juice off the pineapple and put pineapple that's in it. That's not the secret, is it? No, it's in the cherries. She'll garden. have to okay. kill you if she tells you the secret. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, and then uh, after you get all that made, you, I, I had me a little Christmas tree going on there. All I the think. cherries melted the down. Cherries the cherries are not sinking to the bottom. So there's a, if y'all want to grab a, grab a spoonful, y'all are welcome to grab yes, some of that. Yeah, um, I won't some but I remember just always having this at any kind of family event, especially around Thanksgiving or Christmas and having that pistachio. It's kind of like oh, you don't great. know whether to put it with the sides mm. or with the dessert. So you eat it at both times. Yeah, so you <laughs> eat it with your your regular meal the and then you go back and get more for right. dessert. So yeah. that's always really good. And uh -huh. it's got the little marshmallows. I know um, Brad really likes that. <laughs> he always says, well. get some more of that. Uh -huh. I like to top it off with more Cool Whip because that's always even better because Cool yeah. Whip is good with anything. Um mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to share mine while she's dipping this. This right here is um, a raw mm, chocolate idea. bark, peppermint bark. So this is uh, healthy, <laughs> but delicious. That's and the secret recipe. Yes, if you're gluten-free, <laughs> dairy-free, uh, sugar-free, this is uh, for you. So is that really good? Uh, yes, <laughs> it is. It's delicious. It is. is it? um, it's sugar-free, too? Yeah, well, it's got natural sugar from honey in it. Mm -hmm. Pass it around. 
you're going to be amazed of how good this is. It's that just dark chocolate. It's cacao, raw cacao. Oh, okay. So cacao has like no sweetness in it. It is the pure form of raw chocolate. Okay. Mm. Um, and then it's got almond flour and coconut oil mm. and the cacao mm. and a little bit of honey to sweeten it up. I, I think I taste mint too, don't I? Well, because it's I put peppermint. some peppermint mm -hmm. extract in it. Mm -hmm. I've used essential oil peppermint mm -hmm. and then I crushed some peppermints. You can I've topped it before with pomegranate seeds, which mm -hmm. makes it really pretty at Christmas. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um and the coconut. So look at mom she's <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> it's really it's good delicious. though. And I, I yeah, a friend yeah. of mine who is a functional health coach, she actually had this recipe. So I kept it in my freezer all last December when I wanted a little treat, when everybody had all the other treats, and I would just go break a piece off and you know, mm -hmm. right out of the freezer. So Tony, that is delicious. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. I'm and impressed. it's super easy. You mix the ingredients, you put it on parchment paper, you press down whether you want to do chocolate chips, coconut flakes, peppermint, pomegranates. You press it into it, put them in, in the freezer, mm -hmm. and as soon as it's firm, it's Look ready to go. You. Wow. So you. I taught her everything she knows. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm trying to have to undo it all now. <laughs> no, but it's super simple it and really, really good. Mm -hmm. So, Edith, tell us, you got like three things down there to share well, with us. Uh, my family loves this, and you can see people driving up the driveway and make it. I mean, it's how quick it is. But mm -hmm. this is cream cheese with jalapeno pepper jelly. So good. And that mm. is scrumptious. I love mm. this. This is uh, crab meat on top of cream cheese. We love cream cheese. Is <laughs> 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 <And> that healthy? <laughs> well, it's more what kind of diet you're on. <laughs> and then this. Oh, is so I love those. good. Thomas my daughter in love, yes. uh, Kim, the best. she makes these. I these think are you good. made those um, last year, didn't yes, you? Yes, I did that. And you yeah. know what? You, for Christmas, you could put uh, green coloring in it. Mm -hmm. Kim's done it like that, mm -hmm. or red coloring. So have a oh, bite. Thank you. If you love peanut butter, you're going to love yeah. And what is that? Yeah. that you add these. what to it? A little peanut butter on top of it? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I just spread a little peanut butter on top. <laughs> I love, I do that. I love uh -huh, peanut I do butter too. just to spread it's, it on top but of this carol syrup? It's car a, a cup of caro. Caro syrup, that's right. Yeah, a cup of caro and a cup of sugar. You melt it and then a cup of peanut butter. And mm. I, I, I did the crunchy peanut butter mm. and six cups of uh, cornflakes mm. and mix it. It's so simple. Yeah. So it's one, 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 six. That's how I remember <laughs> it. And a few ingredients, so that's good. I always think about you when I see cornflakes because growing up, we would be at Ida's house and <laughs> she would have vanilla ice cream and yes. cornflakes. Oh yes, it that's was a instead staple. Of, instead of milk, mm. it's cereal. Mm -hmm. We'd have ice cream. Oh. <laughs> so I love yeah. ice cream and cereal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Laverne still does that for his little snacks. <laughs> it's like fried ice cream a little bit, you uh -huh. know. Uh -huh. So that's fun. Lots of good yeah. treats here. But and all, any of you can make any of these desserts fast, but, and it yeah. just makes the table look so pretty. It I does, and that yeah. pepper jelly, the spicy with yes. the cream cheese, the savory, and that I've had that many a times at different little. Party, gotta, so yeah, that is so good. Just, just no, can oh, start okay. with it. Okay. So mm -hmm. now the three of you sisters um, mm -hmm. recently went on a cruise together. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the ship oh. has never been triple the same. Triple trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about that. What, how that came about? You guys planning a trip together? I know it was something that mom was looking forward to, and I was. Really encouraging her to get away and Well, enjoy she really that. wasn't. Oh. Looking, but she finally fell in love with it because we had fun. Well, the year before, mm -hmm. Edith and I and some family members had gone on a cruise. And so, you know, um, uh, I, I guess it's all right to say this on Christian TV, but me and Edith <laughs> was gambling, playing. Oh! <laughs> But anyway, um, uh, we won a, tr a free trip. That's so two, awesome. two free trips. Yeah. Yeah. So this year we decided to make it a sister's. But uh, that cruise. was after playing five games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, we probably played for our trip, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, Mary decided to join us, and so 
So we just had uh, we had fun playing bingo. We had fun on our trip this year uh, going and and I was sick. They had to put up with me a little bit because I was sick. But um, we sure did. I tell you the the <laughs> ship started rocking at times. Oh, didn't That's it? what scares me about a cruise. And, but that was only one day. Yeah, yeah. right. So we I want to as we're talking about it share some pictures. I know Narvis had oh, okay. some pictures of the cruise. So I keep wanted going. to tell something too okay. about it. Okay, um, y'all keep going. I just thought of this. It, there this it is, just a big cruise ship. Me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But uh, we were on that cruise ship, what, seven days? And uh, yeah. all through the week, Edith kept telling me that everything was on her credit card and we'd settle <laughs> up. And, now, I just thought of this, Edith, this is <laughs> too much. Y'all going to like this. That uh, at the end of the week, we settled up through Edith because everything was on her credit card. Well, little did Narvis mm -hmm. know that her credit card was on there too, which was okay, but mm -hmm. mine wasn't. So I just, I would buy all throughout the week, you know, and... <laughs> Just, I had run it up to about 200 something dollars, I think. <laughs> so the day we got off the ship and was all in the line with the thousands getting off, uh, everybody was smiling as they went through. And, you know, there's just so many going. And Edith and Narvis had gone on before me, had been cleared to go on. Well, we thought you were behind yeah, us. Yeah, I was screaming yes. for you, too. You didn't <laughs> listen. Mm -mm. And so uh, I, uh, they said, come with us. You know, I went, oh, what have I done? You know, I didn't know what I'd done. And they, they said, you must come with us. And they wouldn't even tell me what I'd done. And I was screaming, Edith, Norris, <laughs> Norris. I said, there's my sister. You're on your own. <laughs> I said, my sisters. Get my sisters. And I was screaming. They wouldn't even let me go get my it sister. It was scary when it, you were telling I, I was, us about I was it. panicked. I was Because you're I in another country. Well, we had just entered the U.S., but they had the same people there. We were know. getting off You the haven't, ship. okay, and they took you to another room. Yeah, they just kept transferring me down a dark call. I <laughs> where they take me. <laughs> you have to come with us. And wouldn't even tell me why. I said, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> and so I finally went with them, and they took me out somewhere, made me wait in a long line. And I'm thinking, I can't. Where are my sisters? I don't. I'll never see them again. That's all I was thinking, my sisters. And it all came down to they just didn't have your payment. They on thought file. I was trying to get off the ship without paying. And I thought Edith told me everything is on her credit card, and we were running up real good. <laughs> well, Narvis, Narvis is why. Yeah. I don't know why. No, she had hers. She found I out. Have, Put on but anyway, oh, it all okay. worked Never. out. But I'm telling you, it really upset me. And when I got out of that room, I, I, they I, they were all smiles when I came out, you know. And they, I said, I don't even know if they understood English. I said, I want y'all to know this is just not right to treat a person like this. Well, yeah, it's and they scary. just looked at me and smiled. Where they're taking you. And yeah. so, anyway. I know we have more pictures from the cruise we wanted to just uh, share with you guys. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that was our wig day. <laughs> Your wig day. Snarbin, she's got a Oh, is that you, Mom? I told me blondes had more fun on the ship, so I <laughs> We'll never tell her. <laughs> those are cute. Boys. I thought both of those were Narvis, so. No, that's oh, the goodness. twins right there. Narvis, oh. <laughs> you got on my top, I got on my top. I That's fine. I'm going to have to do wig day with my friends when we go on the trip. It's, it's fun. fun. It's fun. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that you guys were able to do that together and, oh, we and have fun Every night together. when we go to dinner, they wonder what color our hair was going to be <laughs> or how it was going to be. <laughs> and we, we, sat, we chose to sit at a table with different people, you know, instead of sitting by ourselves. And that was very interesting yes, because you was. meet a lot of yeah. people. Well, and, I know uh, there was some ladies that you were able to minister to. Oh, yeah, yes. we ended up praying yeah. with them, yeah. meeting with them, talking. And they were sweet ladies, mm -hmm. and you know we gotta love everybody where they mm -hmm. are. That's and I right. learned that on this mm -hmm. ship. And we not everybody love. is in the same place as us, no, and it's right. you know it really makes you think yes. that you know the word says you know he gave a son for the world. Yeah. Not for everybody except X, Y, and Z. Yes. And right. so we have to remember that because we have to, like you said, love them right where they are. And you mm -hmm. see every kind of group on mm -hmm. the ship. I mean, it's just unreal from different countries. Mm -hmm. You've been on a cruise, haven't you? Yes. Oh, yeah, I remember yours. A big wave came in on yours, yes. didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was it's just a one wave, wave and I was sick as a dog. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> they said it hardly ever happens, but a right. 
Thomas was telling me about yeah, too. Yeah, it was a like a forty-foot wave. wave, and it. We oh. were in the dining oh, room, no. oh, and my the goodness. whole ship went sideways. No, no. and all of the dishes, all no. of the everything wow. that was in the Y'all kitchen. Y'all want to go with us? We're getting up a tour to go on a cruise. <laughs> that was a rogue something. They said it never happens, but it just. I've never been did. on a cruise. I always go for the kind of cruise on land, the all-inclusive, you know, mm -hmm. um, okay. which. Mm -hmm feels like you're on a cruise because it's, you know, all the amenities you I would get. I think I'm going right. on your cruise next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always get nervous I'm going to get, like, sick or am I really going to enjoy the confined right. space of a cruise? But I've mm. always heard, I know Kim and Terry have been on many yeah, cruises they're going and on another one, really January. enjoyed it. Yeah, they love it. Well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so does that mean y'all are going to do it again? Or you no, put your hats I really, up? I really don't have a desire to go for a while <laughs> again no. after they tried to put me by myself. <laughs> well, I, I am a cruise person. I love it, so yes, I would does. definitely go. I'm I guess if I felt like I was getting ready to be handcuffed and taken to the private room without knowing, you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah. they should have told you, you know what, we don't have mm -hmm. payment on file right. for you. That would have been didn't. easily, but that yeah. was scary. Yeah. So I mean, they she did. offered them her credit card. <laughs> <laughs> well, finally, when I got in there, I and was you just know what? The amazing thing is, I had I hadn't I had turned my cell phone off, but when I got downstairs with Narvis, <laughs> here she is calling me on my phone. I said, "This is Murphy." They thought I'm behind them. <laughs> and she was. <laughs> she came home telling Dana and I about the whole thing, and she was like, "They just kept walking." And I could have found me a corner and cried my eyes out. I'm <laughs> I was shaking all over, afraid I would never she see my sister. Uh, I was. I, well, I know you made some great memories on it. Yeah. And met some people oh, that yeah. I know that there was some people that were actually watching um, the show um, through Facebook after yeah. you got mm -hmm. back, and right. I think that was really neat that they yes. tuned in and oh, watched. Yes, so, yes. Uh -huh. if you're just joining us, <laughs> we're just mm -hmm. having fun. You know, the mm -hmm. Lord loves us to. There's different moments in life to where we yes. can just laugh, where we uh, seek right. Him in prayer. But I think He enjoys us having mm -hmm. fun together yes. and just sharing what we do in life. Mm -hmm. And so well, that's what family does around the table. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot. Relationship mm -hmm. is built around the table. Mm -hmm. There's many stories that are shared around right. the table. So I encourage you this uh, season through the holidays that yes. you guys spend some time around your table encouraging one another, listening to one another. I think we get so mm -hmm. caught up with all the technology right. and the phones in front of us that sometimes we're not even listening yes. and right. being right. present True. to those in front of us. Mm -hmm. So right. that's one thing that we were talking about at Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I want to quickly show a picture of mom and I at Thanksgiving. <laughs> we, My husband made an incredible turkey in our infrared fryer and it was beautiful. And um, if they'll pop that picture of me and mom and then uh, me and my husband up. But, you know, that was one thing that um, I thought about. There's so many people that we miss during the holidays, whether they've, mm -hmm. you know, passed on or you're just mm -hmm. not able to be with them. I know you had family in town that was yeah. sick that you right. couldn't be with. Right. But just to really be aware to be present mm -hmm. with the people who's in front of you. And I know that we miss people, but mm -hmm. not dwell on those that we miss but be present with those that we're with yes, right. so right. That's good. that yeah. was kind of what we did on thanksgiving mm -hmm. day yeah. i'm not sure what happened to my turkey leg picture but <laughs> it's coming. It, it popped up for a second there but we enjoyed a beautiful glistened turkey from the fryer yeah. <laughs> and we had about 17 people at my house that day so it was a lot of fun to um just share thanksgiving with friends and family and did you make it fat free no, it was not. It was not. It was enjoy you had it. Your famous salad, though. I did. I, I had that. people emailing me for the recipe. Oh, no. So oh, well, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. There's our turkey yes. leg. Oh, it was. That was the best turkey. It was. My, it was my. so good, and I was proud of that Brad. He cooked it to perfection, yes. so it was very yummy. Yes. Well. We're going to continue um, just sharing with one another around this table this evening, but we're going to have Edith sing a beautiful song, and it's called Holy Ground. As I walk in this place 
I felt his presence and I knew this was the place where love abides for this is the temple Jehovah We are standing, we're in his presence, we're on holy ground. We are standing on holy ground. Others joy <laughs> beyond measure, oh yes, and at his feet, sweet peace of mind can still be found. So We're standing on holy ground right there where you are. Just lift your hands and sing it. We are standing, we're on holy, holy ground. I That was like, beautiful. I was talking to her. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We're having fun. Today. And I had some green chocolate in my teeth, too. I was trying to clean out. Nervous right. kept saying while Edith was singing, taste it, Tony, taste it. And I said, well, don't it have dairy? My it don't matter. So just taste it. Like, okay. Tony gets one taste of dairy a year, don't you? Well, I, if I do, I just don't always feel good. I so understand. to me, I feel I'd pretty rather good feel I good. <laughs> well, until you know what feeling good really oh. is, you, you, that's your normal. That is that what it means to be on holy ground for y'all? <laughs> <laughs> Coming right out of holy ground with that, that's just not too good, huh? It was beautiful. Yes, it, it was, was beautiful. Until Nervous interrupted me to eat chocolate. <laughs>
<laughs> and I am so excited to have both my sisters here tonight. We have another one, Erlene. She couldn't be here today, but I have Narvis with me, and I have Edith with me, and uh, my sister in love, Sheila, too. But uh, we're going to talk to Edith a little bit right now. You have to really watch uh -oh. Edith. She's liable to just say anything, you know? <laughs> <I guess. laughs> but in case there's anybody out there that don't know you, I just got a couple lines about Edith. She's first, our wild sister. Yeah, first of all, <laughs> what y'all say. <laughs> first of all, she's my elder sister. <laughs> Love Get a kick out of that. <laughs> and uh, she and her husband live in Nashville, Tennessee area. Edith and Laverne Tripp. They have two boys in ministry who are Rob and Terry. Edith has six grandchildren and three great grandchildren. Now let's and give Edith another, another hand. One. Expecting yeah. one more. Welcome, <laughs> Edith. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. This and, is Fun. Yes, yeah. it is. We we love this time. I tell you what, we have so many people that really love Ladies Night. I know. Right? When I posted the graphic this week with all of you on it, I had so many, Ladies Night's my favorite. And so. yes, yes. I ran into a lady, I'll tell this quickly, the other day that said, my sister watches y'all every week, said she'll start calling people, you got to see it, you got to see it. She's 85 years old, you got to see it. She said, well, I'll watch it later. Her sister said, Well, we're no. almost at age. <laughs> well, speak for yourself. You are my elder. <laughs> yeah, I'm your younger. <laughs> but recently, I just wanted to share with the viewers, Edith, that recently um, you and Laverne, uh, as many know, hosted uh, the TBN yeah. Praise the Lord program for how many years? 18? About 20 years. 20 almost. years, uh -huh. yeah. And uh, recently, it was this year, wasn't it, mm -hmm. that Matt and Lori Crouch contacted Edith and Laverne mm -hmm. and asked them to be on the program yeah. with them. That we have some pictures nice. of yes, we you do. guys yeah. with Matt there, and Lori. There's the night y'all were on right yeah. there. And such a sweet yeah, couple. They're doing a great job, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They really are. Just, They're bringing it I, up to date for this generation. I'm really enjoying their program, mm -hmm. and it is so good. Yeah. But uh, y'all were on that night, and we got one more picture that we're going to show that after you were on just for a little while, how, what? Well, this is the way Matt ended the program. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he jumps in Laverne's lap Aww. and ends the program. He probably <laughs> thinks of Laverne kind of, you know, he, like a dad, too. Uh, that, he does. Because he was younger well, when Laverne Well, when he, he was younger... 14, 15 years old, he stayed at our house. Yeah. I fed him hot dogs and all that stuff. He <laughs> and ice cream and cornflakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ice cream and cornflakes. But he, he kind of feels like our son, and Lori is a, a great, great girl. Well, how did it feel going back after 20 years? I mean, that I went through all this with you. I lived in Tennessee mm -hmm. with you and Laverne, and we did for 10 years, and, and, uh, and then... Um, you know, moved back here, and y'all still are there. But how did it feel being on that night, Edith? You know what? It was it was great. I mean, it was great. Uh, uh, at first, it was weird. I'll just be honest. Mm -hmm. It was weird because we hadn't been on there in so long, mm -hmm. and uh, and and after we left, you know, things started changing, and the whole programming started changing, and. I was satisfied. I'm satisfied with my life, you know, mm -hmm. and Laverne is too. And, yes. And uh, we had peace about everything. But Matt came to our house. He didn't call. He came to our house and and shared how the Lord had uh, he had had a a, a great encounter with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he said, "I'm asking some of the people that's been on before, uh, like 85 year old or 70 year old on up." They'd be watching. So I think he was, uh, Matt has a heart like that. Mm -hmm. So, and Lori's the one that pushes, you know, the wife always yeah. pushes that, mm -hmm. and how she feels too. But it was great. And uh, Laverne was able, you know, he loves to do soul winning. And Matt gave him the privilege of uh, inviting people to the Lord. And there were many, many And we saved. heard from many people, didn't we? Yes, we did. I say we because I still work with you right. and Laverne some. I'm back. <laughs> How many times have you been back? <laughs> I think this is my fourth or fifth, but it doesn't matter. I love it. We can't do it without Mary. <laughs> but anyway, it was wonderful, mm -hmm. and I just I praise God for that opportunity. I okay. think that's just a neat place of, you know, even healing to go back in a place, you know, that yeah. you were so many years ago mm -hmm. and to be able yes. to, you know. Yes. I think it's just honoring of 
Matt to yeah. invite you guys in. That's what he wanted to do. Yeah. Was honor Laverne and me. And, That's great. And I, I was very, very grateful. That's very awesome. Grateful. Well, I know there's about three people you had mentioned to us that helped mold your life, who you felt like really impacted your life, and I wanted you to tell us who they were. Well, you know what, Tony? During that 20 years, we met many, many people, and many people that you guys would know, everybody would know, uh, such as uh, Maud Amy Humbard, Evelyn mm -hmm. Roberts. I mean, I met all, mm -hmm. all those women. Mm -hmm. I went to the White House with Maud Amy, mm -hmm. and, uh, and they've inspired me. But when it comes down to it, I'll tell you my number one inspiration mm -hmm. was my grandmother. I think we have a picture Grandma, of grandmother. I yeah. think we have a, there she yeah. is. That's one of the strongest ladies I've ever known mm -hmm. in my life. She was a counselor here for many years. She even used her magnifying yeah. glass in her later mm -hmm. years to, to, to write out the prayer part, you know, yeah. write what yes. they would say. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. she, after she had had ten children of her own, five had already gone to heaven. She still had five here. When she's 55 years old, she took me and my sisters, five, uh, of us. five, of us, five <laughs> girls, into her home, went back mm -hmm. to work on a night shift after my mom and dad had divorced. And um, uh, she took all of us in. Grandpa didn't want it, but he finally, you know, said, <laughs> okay, y'all come on. <laughs> 55 years old working third shift no. in a mill. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, but she did it But for she us. went every night and uh, after we went to bed and then came home and got us off to school, fed us. Made us go to church, mm -hmm. whether That's we right. wanted to or not. She we drugged sang. us, didn't she? She drugged us. <laughs> drugged us to church every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Made us sing in the choir, whether we wanted to or not. Mm -hmm. And I'm grateful for that. Mm -hmm. yes. And there were a lot of things, you know, that the way she disciplined that I didn't like. Yes. <laughs> Uh, because that's all she knew. That's yeah. the only thing she knew. Yeah. The only way we she can knew only to... give what we have. That's right. right. But I, I have been inspired by her because the older I get, I don't know how I could do that. Mm. Just don't know how I could do that. Yeah. Mm. And I know God gives you grace for that. And, and who else now? And He had to give her <laughs> grace for that. <laughs> yeah. And my number two, I guess, is my aunt Carolyn. Mm -hmm. And I almost cry when I say that because. Oh, she, she and there she is. Uh, she helped me uh, domestically. She taught me how to make up a bed. First of all, she loved me unconditionally. She was a pastor's wife at 15 years old mm. and became a wife and a pastor's wife at the same time. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's how old my cook. youngest <laughs> granddaughter is. <laughs> and a great cook. And uh, she taught me how to make spaghetti, hot dogs, and all that southern good food, cream potatoes. My grandkids love my cream potatoes, and I give all the credit to Carolyn. But she taught me a lot, and uh, I'm just very grateful for her. And last I love but you, not least. Carolyn. <laughs> She's been through a lot this year health-wise, but God has raised her up yeah. again. And who else now? And my husband Before Sheila Laverne. goes to sing, let's tell <laughs> yeah. the last bit. My night. husband no, We Laverne. don't have all night to talk about. <laughs> I know. And I could take all night. But as you know, you've heard his testimony on here, how he was a drug addict and yeah. an alcoholic. And uh, today he's set free for yes. many, many Amen. years. And he's a different person. Yes. He loves me and, and our family. And God did that. Because mm -hmm. Laverne allowed him mm -hmm. to. That was a gala you just hosted. That there. was a gala, yeah, mm -hmm. we just hosted, yeah. I got on my <laughs> wig again. <laughs> <laughs> Lip fit the occasion. Yeah. yeah. You wore that on the cruise. <laughs> but, but I'm just so grateful for him. And I'm grateful. Yes. I'm grateful for all. You've inspired me. All of, you, t you inspire mm -hmm. me, Tony. Yes, you do. You yes. are wonderful. <laughs> she is yes. amazing. Yes. I sit and watch you sometime and I say, that's our little Tony. <laughs> yes. I just can't believe well, it. You just speaking about that just re reminds me, and I want to encourage you to think about the people in your life who invest into you, yes. people that encourage you and uplift you. Mm -hmm. Those are the people that um, really care about who you are and know your heart. So Can't our, leave out my sons either. Yeah, Rob, Rob and, and Terry. Terry. <laughs> and, and they're in the ministry, and they inspire me. They're teaching me the Word of God. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have a family full of just, uh, we're blessed to have a family full of people in the yes, ministry. Yes. And speaking of that, I want to go to Sheila. She's going to sing an incredible song called the Joseph and Mary song. <laughs> Thank you. 
She was probably 14, barely more than just a child herself. When the words fell upon her ears, you will give birth to a son. He will be the Holy One. How could she begin to comprehend? Fear must have held her frozen in that place. She was told that she had been chosen for such a task this great. And tears must have filled her innocent young eyes as she realized the pain that this would bring. Would she be cast away? Would Joseph say? He had waited for so long to find a wife and build a home. Now suddenly the dream had disappeared. She would give birth to a son. He would be the Holy One. Even now the message sounds absurd. Fear must have held him frozen in that place. As Mary told him she'd been chosen, his heart began to break. Tears must have filled his disenchanted eyes as he realized the pain that this would bring. It hurt to walk away, and what would people say? to Joseph and said, do not be afraid. These things Mary has told you, she heard from me. I know it will be hard, but you are not alone. For God has chose you both. She cannot do this on her Beautiful, beautiful song. Yes. Um, yes. Beautiful lyrics for that. Um, mm -hmm. 
If you're just joining us, it is our ladies' night, and we have shared around this table, and we're excited to hear just more, um, some things personal from Sheila and her family. We heard from Edith, and we had fun up front. We laughed and shared about food and cruises and whatnot. (laughs) Um, So we hope that you are watching on Facebook, and you share the program on your page so that friends and family that don't live in the area can also tune in as well. If nothing more to know to make sure you have a credit card on your cruise bill. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'd have to be tuned in early. To <laughs> You'll have to rewind, rewind. It and listen to that again. <laughs> but Sheila, thank you for being here and singing. Um, oh, you have a beautiful voice, and yes. I just always appreciate when you take time to be with us. Um, and I'm glad you're here on our Christmas ladies' night. Well, me too. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Nice um, to you here. and Thomas have been in ministry how many years? Uh, coming up on 29. 29, That's and you have right. I applaud you. Yes. Yes, yes, married and Together. ministry. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then you have Simeon, who is actually an ordained pastor and leads worship at a church in Myrtle Beach. Right. And then Mariah is at a school in California. Um, remind me the name of the school. Fuller, Fuller Seminary. Okay, Fuller Seminary. So I mean. both your kids in ministry, right. pursuing the Lord and what He has for them. But with them being gone, what does that look like now for you and Thomas as kind of empty nesters and in your ministry as well? Because I know Simeon and Mariah were always a part of your ministry. Right, they were. Well, the first couple of months, it was really sad around our house <laughs> and quiet yeah. and yeah. Uh, something that we weren't used to, uh, even though Mariah being here in North Greenville at school, um, you know, she was in and out all the time, but all of a sudden nobody was coming in and out, so it was just us. But I think we adjusted because we've always Mm -hmm. been in ministry together Mm -hmm. and spent 24-7 together, and uh, most people are like, how in the world can you do that with your husband? He would drive me crazy. (laughs) uh, Thomas and I, I know, Thomas and I have always been so compatible and Mm -hmm. And enjoy the same things. I mean, I love football as good as he does and probably yell louder on the TV. That's right, Mary. (laughs) And uh, so there's just so many things that we're compatible about, you know. So uh, we enjoy being together. Well, the Lord has to know what he's doing when he puts any woman with a Sloan. (laughs) Right? (laughs) This is true. This is true. Uh, It takes a special grace and God's grace is sufficient. That's the one thing Steve always liked me doing is watching football with him. But he said he got more of a kick out of me watching the football game. Well, everybody does. She screams and yells. I don't. I try not to, honestly. But go ahead. I I know. I understand you just because of that. I mean, I'm alone in my house. Us last week screaming. I said, who am I screaming She boxes to? me and Dana to tell us about the game. So oh, I do the same thing. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I feel right out with you. Now, I wanted to ask you, you know, you guys having your family, and we all come from traditions. Right. I've noticed um, that my kids really like tradition. When we change something up, especially Chase, he's like, wait a minute, that's not what we do. So I love that he enjoys tradition and maybe one day he'll pass those things down. So what do you see that you've taken from your past incorporated into your life that you see Simeon and Mariah going out, whether it's just family traditions or even around the holidays? Well, we always go to Arkansas. My parents are still living. They're up in their 80s. And so for 29 years, we have done the trek to Arkansas mm-hmm. and stayed a few days with my family and we all I have a younger brother and sister and uh, their families and we all get together there's about 20 something of us wow. and we'll get in the living room we do this every year have done it for ever since Thomas and I've been married we'll go and um, we take turns having devotions so one family has it each each Christmas and we'll have a devotion, whatever the Lord speaks to us, maybe read the uh, scripture from Matthew or Luke about the birth of Jesus, and uh, then we'll talk about whatever's on our heart. Then we'll take communion Mm -hmm. and uh, have a time of worship. Either Simeon or my brother or our nephew will get a guitar or I'll get on the piano, and we'll just worship Mm -hmm. and have a time of worship, and it's real special. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have prayer and uh, just get a chair sometimes in the middle of the circle and pray for whoever needs prayer. The hot seat. Right, the hot seat. <laughs> and we've seen God do some amazing things. We really mm-hmm. have answered some prayers of healing and, and people have had tough years and just needed mm-hmm. a touch from the Lord. Yeah. 
And then after we finished that, we, uh, my mother had special Christmas balls made for all of us. And each family will get up, my parents start, and they'll put the Christmas ball on the tree and then say what, whatever's on their heart. Mm -hmm. You know, That's I thank beautiful. the Lord for bringing me yeah. through this year or, you know, or just a scripture or whatever. I love all of you guys or, you know, whatever's yeah. on their heart. Mm -hmm. And so we go down through all 20 of us mm -hmm. by families and we oh. do that. And then when that's finished, we all hug and cry and, you know, do all that. I think that's so important that, you know, incorporate things like that when you're yes. young because I know the Sloan Christmas was always mm -hmm. centered around prayer and family. Right. Mm -hmm. And as a little girl, we'd go around, there'd be, you know, 50 in a room and everybody would have to share their heart. And, you know, and as a kid, there were some cousins that would say they don't want to, yeah. but my parents, I knew that I better say something. Yeah. No, but and right. I didn't want to, but I'm so thankful for that now mm -hmm. yes. that now I can go around with my family and ask my kids to share. And, yes. you know, just instead of taking yes. a tradition of we're going to go see Christmas lights, the right. tradition being we're going to sit around and pray together and we're going right. to, you know, worship together. Mm -hmm. So I love that you, you guys have done that. that. That's right. And I know we've done that together yes. as well on mm -hmm. the on the Sloan side. Yes. And then even at last thank the mm -hmm. last Thanksgiving, my dad was here with us. We had a time of worship just in the living room yes. together. And Simeon great. and Mariah yes. sang. Yes. So I think it's so special to have times like that. Um, we're coming to the end of our first hour. We have about 60 seconds left. Wow. We want you to stay tuned um, in our next half hour. We're going to be sharing a little bit more, some intimate um, and personal things um, that we want to share with you yes. and bless you guys tonight. But Narvis, would you close us mm -hmm. out in prayer? Father God, we just thank you for this night. We thank you yes, for this time Jesus, that we yes, can just Lord, come Jesus. to you and, and just lift you up. Jesus, I thank you, God, that yes, you sent Lord. your son to yes. this earth, uh, that we could have life and have it more abundantly, yes, Lord. Yes, and thank you. I pray for those that are sick in their minds and their bodies out there, the relationships. Lord, I just pray that you will restore, renew, and, and um, I just thank you, Father God, that this can be a light. This TV station can be a light yes. to those that are hurted, and we just call it in yes. all Jesus, this in Jesus', Jesus name. Amen. 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 Stay tuned for our 9 o'clock hour.